Seems fans don't just follow their idols, they want to be just like them. You can wear the shirt, you can buy the look, you can dream of driving the same car. The admin are cashing in on the world's top players. Now involved in television appearances of a very different kind. Sportswear firms began the television trend. Paul Gascoigne and Marcel Desailly have been among the leading stars to cash in on their marketing appeal. Oh, wow. Nike's Heaven vs. Hell commercial was branded violent by some, but the controversy was matched by the ad's success. Eric Cantona has since made a philosophical statement for intercontinental travel. David Ginola's good looks made him Renault's first choice to advertise their latest model. After Hillsborough, English football was forced to improve its image, and the advertisers are clearly convinced. The main thing is that the whole profile of the game in the UK has improved dramatically over the last five years. A lot of money's been pumped into it. It really now is appealing to a different target audience, uh, a more upscale target audience, and one that a lot of companies, Renault included, really want to tap into. I think the other thing is, that contrary to maybe five or six years ago, when all the best British players were going to work uh, abroad, we've now seen the exact reverse of that, and we're seeing some really glamorous, sexy, big names coming into the British game, which is making the game itself more appealing, both from a personality point of view, and also, quite frankly, from the fact that the football has become more entertaining as well. And it's not just the glamorous products tucking into football's new appeal. Food and football obviously mix. Strike breakfast cereal have signed up Liverpool's Patrick Berger, Manchester United's Carol Paborski, and Middlesbrough's Fabrizio Ravanelli. Sugar Puffs took it one step further and teamed up Kevin Keegan with their own comic book mascot. Pizza Hut say their penalty mess ad featuring Stuart Pearce and Chris Waddle joking with Gareth Southgate has increased sales dramatically. The, the players are well paid, but it seems they're worth it. All advertising normally has a core target audience. Uh, so our core target audience um, is, would best be defined as 35 to 45 year old males, managerial, executive, um, the classic type of um, aspirational businessman, if you like. That's the core target audience. Since Ginola has been on, uh, we have got a uh, exceptionally strong demand for Laguna, but to actually associate the one thing with the other, um, I'm afraid I'd be fibbing if I could claim all the credit for that for just the ad. It all adds up to the fact that football is a part of everyday life, and players have taken over where celebrities left off in the world of advertising. But is it a short-lived phenomenon, or are the days of seeing players whenever you turn on the TV here to stay? Utilisation of footballers is, quite frankly, a bit of a trend thing for, the, uh, for various reasons. Uh, how long that trend lasts, of course, is another question. It might last a year. It's already lasted a year at least. Uh, it may last another year. It may last another three years. So whether it's a cereal, a pizza or a trip to Paris, there's a good chance that a footballer was trying it out long before you. I have to 